That's it, right guys. Hey, that was very, very nice. I love the Joey and Tito. I Affectionately known to the uh, family as the FOB the last few days, Father of the Bride. The young boys have uh, come up with uh, nicknames for everybody. I just want to welcome you all here. Uh, I hope that uh, you have an enjoyable evening. Uh, we are extremely happy to have Mike join our family. Mike and Terry, uh, all you have to do is really look at them and you know that they are extremely happy. And as a, as a father, I think that's probably the greatest satisfaction that one can have in his life is to see his daughter uh, as happy as Terry is right now. So, uh, welcome, uh, have a great evening, and uh, everyone enjoy themselves. Thank you. So I would like to uh, propose a toast to Terry and Mike, to many years of wonderful, happy marriage. Mike and Terry. Roger and I looked at each other after she left and we said, I think this is the one. 
because she's head over heels and she hasn't even dated them yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> from our family, welcome Mike. We are so happy to have you in our family. And Terry, I'm so happy you found so much. There's your love. <laughs> Cheers. There are hundreds of adorable baby pictures of me and my sister cooing happily in his lap that are clouded by his foot man chew or an extremely flamboyant pair of running shorts. <laughs> Ask either of his brothers about his fashion choices in high school, and I am certain that the first sentence out of either of their mouths will include the word jackass slacks. <laughs> More recently, he has progressed to quick dry travel shirts in odd pastel colors. And of course, also, the quick-dry, convertible zipper-pant zipper short combination. <laughs> and let us not overlook the ever-present Asics Racing flat. <laughs> Last year, around the time of my high school graduation, Dr. J surprised everyone, especially me, when he arrived in Tucson wearing a very sleek and dapper navy blue Nike-collared shirt. <laughs> Flabbergasted at the sight of him looking so put together and regal. The only words I could produce were, Dad, where did you get that? <laughs> His reply was a very simple but subtly proud, Terry gave it to me. <laughs> I smiled when he said this because it made sense and because I should have known that he didn't pick it up. <laughs> when he came to visit me in college this winter, he arrived in the usual travel garb. But when it, when it came time to take me and my friends out to dinner, he was a new man. Wrinkle-free khakis and golf shirt included. <laughs> I know that it's considered impolite to make fun of the bride or groom, but I have a point, I promise. I'm fully aware that in the grand scheme of things, appearance isn't important, but it's not just the clothes. Since my dad met, has met Terry, there's been a shift, a quiet change in force that was barely noticeable at first, but has become more apparent over the past month. When I talk to him on the phone, he seems lighter and less preoccupied. He goes home earlier, and there is no longer peanut butter from 1996. <laughs> 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 I'm only 18, and I can safely say that I've never been in love, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that every day my dad is a happier, better man with Terry in his life. And that's the whole idea, isn't it? To wake up every morning next to someone who gives you something that you could never have on your own, to recognize the faults, but to love them anyways, and to know that no matter what happens, how good or bad it is, how much you succeed or fail, win or lose, that they will always by your side, they will always be by your side loving you, maybe even enough to tell you that your shirt is ugly. <laughs> In that spirit, I would like to propose a toast to my father for his constant love and support, and to Terry, thank you for being that person for my dad. Thank you for loving him, <laughs> for being the one to throw away that peanut butter from 1996, <laughs> and for improving his fashion sense slowly but surely. Welcome to the family. Aww. I wish you all the best things, but most especially I wish for you to wake up next to each other every day only to experience the quiet nobility of leading a good life together, and that you always remember that the other makes you better, stronger, and more importantly, happier. <laughs>